How's it going guys? So today I'm going to show you how to make Bush Baby's track M1 Impulse. This is what it sounds like. Bush Baby has been around for a while and has some absolute bangers. One of the bass presets used in this video is from my new UK Garage Volume 2 pack. You can get that from the link in the description. As always, if you want to download this project, you can get it from my Patreon. The link for that is also below. Let's get on with it. This track can be broken down into four easy parts. Firstly, the drums. To begin, you're going to need a nice heavy kick. This one is from my UK Garage Drums pack. Sounds like this. Then we're going to need a rim. Then another snare. We're adding another snare so that it really beefs it up and it really punches through the mix. We're then going to add two layers for hi-hats. Great, so I've grouped all of these drums together with the kick separately and I'll show you the processing. Firstly, I've got this auto filter, which takes out some of the high frequencies as it comes into the drop. This allows for the drums to have more of an impact when it does finally get to the drop. Let's hear it. So as you can see, it's fading out. And then when it finally hits him, Next, we've got the second auto filter, which is doing exactly the same. And before the drop, it's taking out some of the bass frequencies from the drums. It's not really necessary, but it's a small effect that can sometimes go a long way. I then got this EQ and it's on stereo mode. And I've got a boost at 1.29 kilohertz. What this is doing is making the high frequencies uh, broader. So giving them more stereo in the headphones or just in your speakers. We've then got this EQ, which is taking out the frequencies below 86 hertz, which isn't really necessarily in the drums. You could also maybe put this to about 100, but for now, let's just leave it at 86. Next, we have the bass. The bass is split up into a few parts, so let's just start from the top and work our way down. The main bulk that you can hear is coming from the Korg M1, and it's the Organ 2 preset. It sounds like this. <laughs> You would have heard the M1 on hundreds of other songs before, but on this track, what we've done is make it a lot more in your face and harder hitting. I'll show you exactly how I've done that. So if we go to the Korg M1, you just select the Organ 2 preset. We then go to the master effects. And as you can see, I've got this exciter. By default, it's on about 50%. But in this instance, I've put it all the way up to 100%. And I have taken out the uh, reverb, which can be found on the master. I think also on the easy and the insert effects, I've taken out all of those reverbs. Great, I've then got this Pro Q3. So this is by Fab Filter. You could also use the EQ8. I find the Pro Q3 is better for boosting frequencies. So I've got a boost at about 6,200 Hertz and a smaller boost at 665 Hertz. What this is doing is really bringing out those high frequencies of the bass. I've then got this OTT, so this is a free plugin and I definitely recommend downloading it. It's by the same people as the Synth Serum. And this is a multi-band compressor. So what that's doing is recompressing the low end and also the top end. And I've got that set to about 23%. This really helps brighten up the sound. And uh, lastly, I've just got this kick start, which is at 71%. So it's side chained to the kick and is causing that pump in effect. If we have a look at the MIDI as well, all of the MIDI hits on the second beat. So I guess a normal track would sound like this. So this hits the same time as every hi-hat. This is the sort of pattern you'd use in like donk music. You can also play around with the length of the MIDI. If you have it shorter, you're gonna get a lot less bass. So you do want it quite elongated. Maybe not touching, because it can be a bit too much. So yeah, I found it best. There's a sort of a sweet spot when there's a little bit of gap between the MIDI. 
uh, then it causes that bouncy effect. In the second half of the drop, there is also the same preset. So the Korg Organ 2 preset, but then it's been pitched up by an octave. Sounds like this. So what I've done with this, it's got the same effects, but I've taken out the low end, anything below about 484 hertz, and I've also added some reverb on there. And together. Also in the intro, there is a re-space, so it sounds like this. This re-space is from my UK Garage Volume 2 pack and it has a saw wave and a square wave and quite a bit of distortion and there's a filter taken out the high end as is there an EQ. If you want to download this, you can also get that from my website and it's in the UK Garage Volume 2 pack. It's the exact same MIDI as before, but the notes have been um, elongated as you can see. What we've then got is this lead sound that you can hear at the start of the track. So all this is, is the organ two. So the same one we've got up here, the organ, organ two. And all we've done is add tons of reverb on it and take out the low end. So this EQ, as you can see, is taking out the low end. I then got this Valhalla reverb at 100% wet and about four seconds decay. So you could also do this with the Ableton reverb. So put it up to 100%, put it about four seconds. Quickly put that behind. Let's take it out some of the low end. But I do prefer with the Valhalla. Yeah, so I've not actually heard this done on any other track and I think it does work very well. And as soon as the track starts, you immediately recognize it as M1 Impulse. Um, and I guess it's really true to the name as it's the Korg M1 and he's used that even for the lead. We've then got the effects. So we've just got this white noise riser, so it rises up. And then down. We've then got another sweep on top. And in the drop, we've got another big crash. With this sort of style, it's important to have a really big white noise crash in the drop. Otherwise, the drop really doesn't have that same sort of impact. We've also got this effect, so it's just a ragra effect. <laughs> Lastly, we have the vocal. So this is just ripped from the original track, and I've just added a bit of EQ to boost the high end and a bit of reverb. Great guys, thanks for watching. Please let me know what video you want to see next. See you next time.